In this video, we'll be discussing the student t distribution and solving a numerical related to the student t distribution. So first, let's take xi, uh, that is, be a random sample of size n, okay, and drawn from a normal population with mean, mu, and variance sigma square. Then the static t. can be defined as t is equal to x minus mu by sigma into root n. So this is the uh, like t distribution formula that is x minus mu by sigma into root n. So here we need to uh, firstly test the hypothesis whether the sample mean x bar differs significantly from the population mean and to conclude using the following things if uh, mod of t is greater than t at 0 0.05 uh, level of significance the difference between x bar and mu is said to be significant at 5% level of significance this is for yes at 5% level of significance if this is uh, if this is true then we can say that the difference between x bar and mu is said to be significant at 1% level of significance and here we can say that uh, the data is said to be consistent with the given hypothesis of table value significant. Yes, so once we solve the numericals we will get to know how these things are applied in the question. So let's look into the numerical. The problem statement says that 10, indiv 10 individual students are chosen from at random from a school and marks are found to be 63. These are the marks. So we need to test the hypothesis that it is true at 5% level of significance with the value of 2.262. Here the mean mark is given as 66. So first let's write given that is mean mu is equal to 66 and n value is 10 right so let's write the formula t is equal to x bar minus mu by x bar minus mu by sigma into root 10 here x bar is mean x bar is like the mean yeah sort of mean mu is the value which they have given x bar is the sample mean and mu, mu is the value given. So x bar value we have to calculate that would be summation of x by n. So we need to add all of this x bar would be 63 plus 63 plus 66 plus 67 plus 68 plus 69 plus 70 plus 70 plus 71 plus 71 by 10. So if you add all of this and divide it by 10, you get 67.8. And that is x bar value. Now we have to find out v value, variance. So to find variance, we know that it is summation of x minus x bar whole square by n minus 1. So x bar value we know, so x bar value we know that is 67.8. So we need to subtract each and every uh, value given with 67.8, square it and divide it by n minus 1. So v would be 63 minus 67.8 whole square plus 63 minus 67.8 whole square plus 66 minus 67.8 whole square plus 68 minus 67.8 whole square and so on till 71 minus 67.8 whole square till this divided by n minus 1 n is 10 so n minus 1 is 9 so if you solve this you get 9.067 v value we have found out here we need standard deviation that is under root of v that would be under root of 9.067 is equal to 3.01 so we have found out the value so we have found out the value of x bar and we have found out the value of 
a standard deviation also. Now substituting the values in the t equation, t is equal to x bar minus mu by sigma into root n. Here x bar value we know that is 67.8, mu value they have given 66, sigma value 3.01, n value is 10 under root 10. If you solve it you get 1.8911. Here they have told that significance value t of 0 0.05 is 2.262. So here 1.89 1 is less than 2.262, right? So the hypothesis is accepted at 5% level of significance. So I hope you have understood how to solve this numerical. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.